Hi there, everybody. It's Leslie again. Welcome back to our lovely kitchen here in Porter Ranch, California. I hope this video finds everyone safe and healthy and happily sequestered in their homes. I don't know about you, but all of this time at home makes me crave a little bit of comfort food. And for me, one of my top comfort foods of all time is cinnamon rolls. So we're going to try a protein powder cinnamon roll recipe today. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, the recipe starts with two cups of just regular old-fashioned oatmeal that we have put into just a food processor and ground down into a flour. So two cups of oats that turns into flour. Then we have two scoops of protein powder and what better protein powder for cinnamon rolls than cinnamon roll protein powder. Thank you Arbon, for that. Uh, we're also gonna do one and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, four teaspoons of honey, and we're doing a natural, raw, unfiltered honey for this. Uh, two tablespoons, again, of our favorite, unsweetened applesauce, one egg, and half a teaspoon of vanilla, and that's it. That's all for the dough. What we'll start with is combining all the dry ingredients first, and then I will mix in the wet ingredients. Now what happens when you make a dough like this is it gets a little crumbly. Um, don't worry, it's supposed to be. What you'll do then is that, that once you have everything mixed together and you have a nice crumbly mixture, you will wash your hands, which we are all very familiar with how to do these days. Wash your hands thoroughly and get your hands in there and knead it until you have a nice firm dough. And once I have that done, we'll roll it out and I'll come back to you and we'll talk about the filling. Great, so we have our dough all kneaded and rolled out, ready to go. Now it's time to make the filling. And this is one of the easiest filling recipes on the planet. Here it is, three total ingredients. We have a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. So I'm just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and mix it. It's so simple, I'm just gonna mix it right here in front of you. All right, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Then we have a quarter cup of honey. Again, we're using our lovely raw unfiltered honey. This is from a local uh, hive nearby here in lovely SoCal. So we're gonna do a quarter cup of this lovely honey. Okay, this is taking longer than I thought. You thought this was gonna be an action flick, ha ha. Yes, it's still going. Okay, so maybe take the lid off instead of squeezing it. That'll go a little faster. Time passes. Uh, third ingredient is some freshly chopped pecans. And I left these rather loosely chopped. So I've got some smaller pieces, some bigger chunks, just because I like a little texture on the inside of my cinnamon roll. So all of this gets put in together and I just realized I call, I put these down as pagans on my recipe. Yes, folks, I actually wrote pagans on the recipe. We're gonna keep this vegetarian here and do pecans instead. So the filling, once again, is some ground cinnamon, some lovely, yummy, raw honey, and about a half a cup of chopped pecans. We're gonna combine this all together and then roll it out onto our dough. So a little kitchen hack for you here. This was our filling that we made with the honey, the cinnamon, and the nuts. Just as an FYI, do not, I repeat, do not try to spread that on this lovely dough that we've rolled out without warming it up first. It's so thick and so tacky that it will just simply pull parts of the dough out. Don't ask me how I know this. So uh, what I did was I just simply put it into a microwave safe bowl, microwaved it for 30 seconds, literally 30 seconds is all it took. Now it's a nice kind of pouring consistency so I can pour it down onto this and then we'll spread it out with a spatula to get good coverage. But this is much easier than trying to do it while it's in a semi-solid form. All right, so we doubled our filling batch added it in. That looks a little more palatable to me. Um, I did flour my hands to make sure that everything's not gonna stick 
And now we're just gonna take this. What I've done is this is the dough is rolled out into like a long rectangle. You wanna roll it short side, right? Because we, what we're gonna do is once this is rolled, then we'll cut it and those will be our cinnamon rolls. So you want as many as possible, right? So we're just gonna pick this up and roll it. Oh, or fold it. This is crumbly. It's more gonna fold, that's a mess. Okay, so rolling, not so much. Folding, however, seems to work beautifully. So we're gonna do bars instead of rolls. <laughs> work with me here, people. Uh, after doing several layers of folding, and you can see there are a couple layers down in here, the top of it, I'm just kind of rounding over so that I have a nice smooth surface to cut. All right. So we're prepared here, we're gonna do, this should make about 12 rolls. It's just a matter of chopping. And then next, and three, four. Make sure your knife is nice and sharp so that it doesn't squish down too much and really gets a nice cut through. But these are about an inch or so wide her cut. And then uh, you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Pop these onto a greased baking sheet um, and let them cook for 10 to 15 minutes. And we'll see how they come out on the other side. Okay, so while our cinnamon folds, cinnamon bars, cinnamon whatevers you want to call them, are in the oven. Uh, what's a cinnamon roll without that yummy goodness all over the top? So we're going to do an icing. Uh, what this is, is just, it's a one can of coconut cream. If you put this in the refrigerator overnight, it'll help the cream kind of settle to one end, and that'll make it easier when you open it the next day to push that cream out. It'll all be in one spot. Um, on top of that, we have a half teaspoon of vanilla. And then you have your choice. Depends on how healthy you wanna go with this or not. You can do like a third of a tablespoon of powdered sugar, or you could do six drops of like a liquid stevia. Um, this is just sweetening to your taste. So you can play with that. All of that, you can see, it all goes into the bowl. And then we're just gonna whip it up for a nice frothy icing. So we have a kind of a whipped icing here, somewhere between a drizzle and a whipped cream that we're gonna put onto our lovely little cinnamon fold bars. That's what I'm gonna call them, cinnamon fold bars. Because why not? Um, no, hey, 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 six feet away there, Mr. Cameraman husband. <laughs> Just know that once you put this on uh, while the bars are hot, that will melt some of that frothiness away and make it taste more or taste and look more like a traditional kind of a drizzle like you would have on a cinnamon roll. Um, okay, we had an interesting adventure today. <laughs> not all bad, not all good, gonna taste yummy, and I'm gonna go enjoy this with the husband and the mom-in-law here in the safety of our house. I hope you will do the same. Be safe and be well.